Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of Visa Guru. So friends, today we will talk about how to get admission in a university in Sweden. For this you need to follow the steps I would like to tell you right now. So first of all friends, we need to open a website. The name of the website is University Admissions Sweden. Once you Google this, uh, uh, you get this straight away on the on, on the first uh, page. So for this, uh, here is a page for you, friends. This is the page of uh, official website of Sweden um, University Admission Services. In this website, you can choose uh, the university programs and the university, and this uh, provides you all type of information that is mandatory to. Uh, get admission in a Swedish university. For example, if you write here Master in uh, Computer Science, for example, and you uh, click on uh, the search option. So, once you do that, you have a lot of options. You can see here are the name of the courses with the university. Master in Computer Science, it's at the Karlstad uh, University. The next program is in um, uh, Uppsala University. Next is in Blacking Institute. So you can see, if you uh, scroll down, you will see a lot of universities, a lot of programs. So there are almost all university programs available on this website if you want to search it out. So friends, if you uh, uh, want to know further, so once you have uh, chosen your course, you can uh, check out the further details. For example, here are the details. This course uh, consists of 120 credits and uh, it's full-time course uh, and the instruction time is daytime and uh, it's uh, language of instruction is uh, English. It will be taught in English medium of instruction and it's on campus studies. It's gonna start in autumn 2018 and you can click here in every tab here. You can click here to go directly to the main page of uh, of the university so here is the information of the course all together here you can see there is all information the contact number and all the details so once you have chosen for example this course to study then you can uh, click on add button to go towards the application process here on the right side in the right top corner you will see my selection your course and then go to application for that you'll have to create first a user account on this website so for doing that you can uh, click on the create account tab and then you will be choosing no i don't have a swedish person id number that's um, uh, normally the case for the students who are new to this website click onto this then here you can choose to create your online account uh, for your uh, personal usage on this website you'll be writing here your name your all personal details your address your phone number your city and all the things and once you uh, complete this form you will be able to create an account and then you will be able to get an access on this website's user account to apply for admission in university so through this account then you can apply uh, uh, for uh, your uh, desired courses uh, that you have chosen to study in, in Sweden so that is not difficult you can do that without any problem so friends once we have done that then uh, you, I will tell you about uh, the next process what to do next first of all you need to keep in mind the key dates so for key dates come on to the get started tab here you see the key dates these dates are for the admission service so here key dates and deadlines you can see here autumn semester for example auto semester dates so the autumn semester dates are online service opens on 16th of october admission application deadline uh, at midnight cet 15th of january then deadline for the receipt of application fee is 1st of february and then deadline for the receipt of supporting documents is 1st of february then notification of selection of result is 6th of april so you'll be notified through an email if you have been able to um, uh, get admission in a swedish university so friends this was the main process so we will now talk about uh, the application process so on the left uh, this uh, tab, tab section you can click on the application process and here you see a lot of information for you so you will have to submit your application online and uh, you'll have to complete an electronic application and all the process for this you have to create an account I've told you about this uh, you'll have to search for the courses and programs. You can add that the way I've told you in the beginning how to add that by searching in the main bar 
then you'll have to fill out and send in the application you have to pay the application fee well remember friends uh, you have to pay uh, uh, an application fee so that is uh, important to pay here on the left tab menu you can open a, a new window to pay the application fee that's normally 900 swedish crones here it is written so you can exchange this uh, 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 into euros as well so it's about approximately 100 euros so this is the fee you have to pay you can pay it uh, with uh, um, different uh, uh, methods for example if you click paying your application fee you can pay through your credit card you can pay through your uh, debit card with the bank transfer and uh, for if you want to pay it, uh, if you can't pay it with your credit card you can pay it with the bank transfer and uh, for this you need to log into your uh, user account first of all on universityadmission.se and you have to go to the application fee page under my pages and from that uh, you from that page you will have to uh, note down your reference number so this you must use uh, while you send uh, your uh, application fee you transfer your application fee to online transfer and then the next step that uh, you want to have the information that who to send the fee so for this um, uh, uh, you need uh, the account information so you can find this information on the application fee page at the bottom of this page there is a button uh, to bank uh, payment you must read the instructions first of all and then you can print this page and take it with you to the bank uh, to pay the 900 uh, swedish crones um, uh, online as an application fee so friends this is important so the next step uh, we would like to talk about um, uh, here is uh, the process that I've uh, uh, told you all the process how to do that friends. So online application uh, is, is made through this way. Preliminary assessment is made on your application and once you become able uh, uh, to get admission you are issued uh, your name and through a notification through an email then you have to pay an advance installment of fee normally the course i've told you for example i've told you in the beginning uh, a course that uh, that was um, a master in uh, for example I, I tell you once again master in, uh, uh, in in for example master in communication for example if you talk about this so if if you talk about this course you see here this this tab has an information that the cost of this uh, uh, degree course is 250,000 Swedish crones. So first fee uh, installment you have to pay is 62,500. So once you get the uh, uh, notification that you can be, you have been admitted as a student, so you'll get a conditional offer letter and then you'll have to pay this first installment. Once you pay this first installment, 62,500, well this varies. This is different for all other subjects. So this is not the same one. So you'll have to pay this fee and then you will get um, a, uh, an unconditional letter of acceptance from a university that you can use to apply for your visa. So we will now talk about the entry requirements. Applying for studies here on the left uh, upper top menu, entry, entry requirements. Well, in entry requirement, friends, uh, you can read uh, different information about bachelors and masters. For example, if you talk about bachelors, it depends upon all uh, um, the country of origins that from which country you need which type of qualification to apply for a graduation in Sweden. Uh, the general entry requirements are you have successfully completed your upper secondary high school education. Well, this means uh, different to different countries. For example, if you want to study a bachelor's degree in Sweden and you are from Pakistan, then you need to have 14 years of studies to study in Sweden a bachelor's degree. And for master, you need to have 16 years of education to study a master degree in Sweden. So it is different for different countries. It may be different for American uh, students. It may be different from Chinese students. So I will tell you the way how to check it out. You can check it out on the country information box. So I will tell you how to check that. So the second thing that is very important thing uh, this is the requirement of your uh, English uh, proficiency. So you must have, first of all, if we read out the information for general in entry requirements, you must have uh, uh, a Swedish upper secondary course English language level 6 or English B. Well, what is this, friends? We will now have a look uh, at it in depth, how to check it out, then what is the requirement? So what is... Uh, uh, 
uh, what is uh, like english uh, six or english course b what 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 does it mean so you can uh, you can friends uh, uh, you can choose to uh, show your english proficiency um, uh, level through different ways for example from your university studies or from a language test if you want to uh, if you have studied your previous uh, degree in english medium of instruction for example if we click on university studies if you have completed your previous education in english medium of instruction then you can get a letter from your university that states that you have studied your previous education previous degree in english medium of instruction then you can also use it as a proof of your english proficiency so here is the information for that students with formal university transcript or degree certificate for their bachelor degree uh, uh, equivalent to a swedish uh, kandidaten exam where it is clearly stated that the language of instruction for the program was english meet the requirement so this letter you can get from your uh, uh, previous uh, uh, educational institution so this can be true for all countries for example for african countries for india and pakistan for example if we talk about india and pakistan here you can see here so the students from india pakistan with a bachelor's degree equivalent to a swedish um, kandidat uh, exam in engineering computer science computer application medicine pharmacy natural sciences or technology so the students who have studied uh, bachelor's in engineering computer sciences computer application medicine pharmacy or natural sciences they do not need to do ielts in order to apply for doing uh, a bachelor's degree in sweden so this is as simple as that so if we talk about if you do not meet this criteria for example if you have studied your bachelor's in 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 another language of instruction in your own language of instruction your mother tongue then you may go for a language test so here if you click here on the language test tab you will get the information what are the types of language tests you can do ielts academics you can do tafel you can do uh a cambridge uh, michigan language assessment test you can do pearson test you can do cambridge english language assessment test there is a lot of tests so we will only talk about ielts that is very famous so here is the english level 6 that i have already told you that is mentioned to study a bachelor or master you need to have english level 6 so english level 6 means simply overall mark of 6.5 so and with no section below 5.5 so you must have 6.5 score of ielts in order to study a bachelor or master uh, in sweden so this is really really important friends and uh, friends then we will talk about further uh, how you can document your eligibility for 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 studies so here if we click here so we will now come to know how to document your eligibility uh, that that what are the eligibility factors in order to um, uh, study in uh, sweden for example if you want to check out that what are the eligibility documents criteria what we have to do we, we need to click on instructions for master applicants or instruction for bachelors so if we click on instruction for master applicants here is all the information find out what you need to submit for a course you can check out the country specified instructions for example if we go into the steps to checking for special instructions for my country if you click onto that and go into the further down um, uh, on the page and if you click on uh, on on your country of origin for example if you choose uh, for example for an instance if from this uh, 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 drop down menu we have chosen uh, pakistan for example for an instance so so here is information about uh, pakistan what is the information how you can document what type of documents you need to submit your uh, uh, with your application so meeting the english language requirements bachelor's and master level studies so upper secondary studies completed in this country do not meet the uh, english requirement for studies in sweden even if you studied english at upper so uh, for upper for higher secondary school certifications that is not good enough to show as a proof so you can demonstrate that you meet the english language requirement uh, uh, through certain university studies or an internationally approved english test so i have told you already that if you have studied a bachelor's in science it management then you can apply without ielts so for bachelor level studies if you want to document your studies for your higher secondary and secondary school certificates you need to get those attested from the relevant uh, uh, educational board and then you need to get those also attested by ibcc so this is important so ibcc uh, must document that uh, your document is valid and uh, it is it must be attested by ibcc and then ibcc must send it directly with uh, an sealed uh, envelope 
to this university admission in Sweden. So here is the address where IBCC needs to send it. For your master studies, well, for the master level studies, um, the same is true. And um, for your master degree, uh, so for master's level studies, you need to have at least a bachelor's degree from Pakistan. That must be uh, four years. And if you do not have that, you need to have 16 years of studies. And how you can document your application? Well, you need to have uh, your document certified by uh, HEC. So HEC, Higher Education Commission of Pakistan, you must get the verification of Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. And then Higher Education Commission of Pakistan must send these uh, in a sealed envelope uh, directly to the university admission in Sweden. So the sealed envelope must include your name, your father name, your personal identity number and the application reference number, the name of your university and degree. So do not forget, once you have to send your documents through IBCC and then from HEC, please ask them to send these uh, attested documents, your educational university degrees in a sealed envelope and they must uh, include information about your name, your father name, your identity number or your application reference number that you have generated while making uh, uh, an account online on universityadmissions.se. So you also need to include your name of university and the degree you want to study over there. So friends, this was the information about how you can document. This is different for different countries. This is not the same for all countries. Here's the list of the countries. You can choose it for all other countries where you belong to. So friends, this was the information about how you can document uh, 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 your application. So these are the documents from uh, which you can choose to uh, uh, send online. For example, if, if you're applying from Pakistan, you can you can send your documents online uh, for by applying online application portal and uh, you need to send these educational documents by post. Other documents you do not need to send uh, by post. The application process I have already told you and uh, you know now uh, well about it. So friends, uh, if we uh, summarize our facts, I have told you you have two semesters in Sweden, autumn semester and uh, then you have spring semester. You'll have to apply through universityadmission.se website. This is the website. You will write here the course. You will get all the information. You need to do IELTS in order to show your language proficiency. You need to have a score of 6.5 if you want to study a bachelor course in Sweden with no score section less than 5.5 plus you need to pay an application fee that is equivalent to 100 euros it means it is 900 swedish crones you can pay it with credit card or debit card you can also transfer it online once you apply online if you are from pakistan or india you have to send your documents uh, online uh, you have to upload your documents in pdf format but your educational documents you have to uh, have uh, sent it uh, from the re relevant educational body. So don't forget it. So in April, on April 6, you will be notified if you have got the admission or not. You will receive uh, a conditional letter and once you pay the first installment of the fee, you will then get an unconditional letter of acceptance that you can use to apply for residence permit. So friends, this was it for today. I'll, I'll be more than happy to assist you if you guys need more assistance about this. So do not forget to hit the subscribe uh, red subscribe button uh, down here and also click on the bell icon so that when I upload a new video you receive the notification and you do not miss a video. Friends, thanks a lot. Please share this video with your friends so that this free information uh, others can also use and they will also benefit from this one. Thanks a lot friends. Till next time. Bye bye.